Join us on our nine day trip to Kyushu, the fourth largest island of Japan. Kyushu is sometimes called Onsen Island because of its abundance of hot springs. Our first stop was Fukuoka, the biggest city in Kyushu and the sixth largest city in Japan. My favorite thing to do in Fukuoka, especially on a rainy day, is to walk around shopping and trying the food. We tried this Australian cafe called Shelly Beach where we waited an hour for our food but got some really good pistachio berry pancakes and spaghetti. I recommend visiting Canal City. It's a huge mall with a game center, lots of restaurants, and a movie theater. It's especially known for the water canals that run through it and the water fountain show every 30 minutes. From Canal City, you can walk to the food stall and night market area, which is what Fukuoka is known for. They're located all throughout the city and open most days of the year. Even in the winter, you can see people outside enjoying local foods and drinking with their friends. We tried oden, a Japanese hot pot dish that's popular in the colder months. Cheers! I also recommend trying the tonkotsu ramen since that's another thing Fukuoka is known for. The next day, we picked up some food at the convenience store, then headed on a train to Nagasaki Prefecture. We're on the limited express train to House and Bose, the Dutch amusement park. We're the only people in this car on the train. The train was really nice and we got to see a lot of scenery along the way. It was Christmas Eve, so we went to Haustenbos in Sasebo. It's a theme park which recreates a Dutch town. They had a lot of restaurants and other attractions. Everything is really Instagrammable. We went to an ice cafe where all the furniture was made of ice. But actually, the best part of Haustenbos, which isn't in any guidebooks, is the horror toilet. I mean, it's just a bathroom, but it's also like a haunted house. The horror toilet. The horror toilet. The horror toilet. The horror toilet. Horror toilet. Horror toilet. Horror toilet. Horror toilet. <laughs> okay, but actually, there's a lot of cool stuff to see just walking around. Overall, I think the park was really cool, but it was also pretty expensive and a lot of things you have to pay extra for. <laughs> but I think the best part at this time of year is the nighttime illuminations. There's tons of lights and also a Christmas market selling food and hot wine. The best part of the night was the Christmas Eve fireworks. I'll let you see for yourself. Next up, Nagasaki City. Nagasaki is a charming city near the water and with a lot of hills. We tried some of the Nagasaki specialties Turkish rice and the Nagasaki milkshake at Cafe Lecker. I definitely recommend that restaurant if you go to Nagasaki. 
We visited on Christmas Day, so I wanted to show you how people in Japan celebrate Christmas. From what I know, they celebrate by having cake and eating KFC. The KFC is even decorated in Christmas decorations and has Christmas ads on it. Outside of Nagasaki Station, there was a booth specifically for buying KFC chicken for Christmas. Japanese biscuits have holes inside them. And the coolest part of Nagasaki is the night view from Mount Inasayama. It's supposedly the third best night view in Japan. And there's even an onsen at the top with a view of the city and a buffet. From Nagasaki, we rented a car and drove to Kumamoto City. Kumamoto is famous for Kumamon, this cute bear who is one of the most famous mascots in Japan. We ate curry for lunch and later for dinner we ate at an izakaya where we had fried tofu with green onions, lotus root with Japanese mustard, fried tuna, and a grilled rice ball with seaweed. One thing that's cool about Japan is the limited edition Starbucks drinks. We stopped by to try the black sesame frappuccino, which was really good. It tastes like a vanilla bean frappuccino, but with a black sesame swirl and topping. And the next day, we headed out to drive to Mount Aso, an active volcano. Kumamoto is where a lot of Japan's agriculture is grown, so there's a lot of open space to see along the way. We ate lunch at this restaurant called Shimoda, which feels like it's in the middle of nowhere, but has amazing set meals and home-cooked food and bread. Then we finally made it to Mount Aso. As you can see, there are a lot of volcanic gases since it is a volcano, and the area surrounding it was really beautiful, and I definitely recommend it if you can make it to Kyushu. Next, we drove to Oita Prefecture. It's famous in Japan and worldwide for its hot springs. First stop was Yufuin, a town filled with nature and mountains. It was really cold and snowing when we got there. When we checked into our hotel, we were greeted with matcha and some Japanese sweets. We spent the evening before dinner in downtown Yufuin. It's a nice place to walk around with a lot of shops, street food, and cute cafes. We stayed at a Japanese traditional style hotel, which includes a huge dinner and breakfast. They also gave us a yukata, a light summer kimono to wear when walking to the hot spring or eating dinner at the hotel. I definitely recommend staying at a traditional hotel like this, at least for one night in your stay in Japan. The second day at Oita was spent at Beppu another hot spring resort which produces more hot spring water than anywhere else in the country. They have the seven hells of Beppu where you can see different kind of hot springs that are naturally bubbling out of the ground. We visited the Suginoi Hotel for this nice Italian lunch and played in their arcade for a bit before going to a nearby onsen. This onsen didn't just have regular hot spring baths, but also sand baths and steam baths. And that just about sums up our Kyushu trip. It was relaxing and a lot of fun. Where do you want to visit in Kyushu or in Japan? Let me know in the comments and remember to like and subscribe for more cool videos like this.